Hi guys, it's Patricia from Yarny Cat Crochet. Um, today's going to be a little bit of a different video unboxing. It's um, from uh, August Uncommon Tea Company. Um, that segment that I do where what's in my cup, what's on my hook, and what's on my mind. The next one's probably going to have um, one of these teas in here. And I've had one of them, but we got some different ones. And I just wanted to highlight the company a little bit and talk about the teas. So let's get to it. Does anybody ever do that? Open your packages with your needles? It's like, ah, get your frustration out. <laughs> so anyway, let's see what we got in here. Sorry about the appearance. I was up until four o'clock this morning looking at yarn online, seeing if there was any sales. And the whole time, I don't have money. Sale, sale, Hobby Lobby, dial lot clearance, people doing videos. I get a little money and boom, it's like everybody ran out of the room. <laughs> so anyway, if you hear of any hot sales, just, you know, message me or on Instagram or, you know, type it in the description or whatever and I'll check it out. So anyway... I got a couple of things. Um, oh, this one is the one I've had before. They come in these cute little resealable bags. This is the 15 cup bag. I mean, you wouldn't think so, but they give you a little scoop, which should be in here. Um, a little crystal scoop. And uh, this one, um, that's the exact measurement you need for a cup of tea, is this little scoop. And I have a tea ball in my kitchen. Um, I put it in the tea ball and then I stick the tea ball into my cup and you let it steep for about four minutes. I'm sure um, everybody who's a tea drinker knows how long to steep your tea, but for those of you that have never done the loose teas, about four minutes gives it its full flavor. Um, allows the flavors to bloom however you want to put it um but anyway this one is low country bourbon sugar black tea and it says it tastes like burnt sugar buckwheat chicory and bourbon and i gotta tell you it is awesome it and if i drink this i have no need for coffee and everybody knows i am a coffee drinker <laughs> um but I have no desire for a cup of coffee if I have a cup of this. So, um, and it doesn't have, excuse me, a ton of, of caffeine in it. It does have caffeine, but not a, a ton of caffeine. But anyway, and it gives you directions of how to brew a good cup of tea. And um, they are a really cool tea company. And the prices aren't really bad. If you want a specialty tea, I mean, you could go out and get uh, Celestial Seasons or Twinnings or um, Lipton, <laughs> Country Time, whatever. You could go out and get a regular supermarket tea. But if you're looking for a specialty tea, then the prices are pretty good. This was 11 They didn't put an invoice in here, but it was 11 something for uh, 15 cups. But it's like, it's comparable to going out to your favorite coffee shop like we have a Heine Brothers I know that name sounds funny but that's what they're called and it's not even spelt like that it's spelt Heine H-E-I-N-E -E. so I thought it was Heine Brothers but it's not it's Heine Brothers but it's a local coffee shop but it's very um, upscale and I don't think it's too expensive because their coffee is really good you know I pay about five or six dollars for a cup when I go there it's a special treat you know when I get to go there I don't go there every day but it's comparable to going out and getting a cup of coffee <coughs> excuse me <laughs> but anyway um so yeah check them out online it's 
augustuncommon.com. Uh, it might be August Uncommon T. Just type it in the description. I'll look and see if it says it anywhere. Oh, yeah, at August Uncommon. So, yeah, they have it on Instagram and I'm sure they have a Facebook page or something, but I don't get on Facebook, so I don't know. But anyway, so Low Country. Very, if you try any of their teas, try this one if you like all the flavor notes. And they're just notes, not always the ingredients. There's not bourbon in that. I mean, I wouldn't mind, <laughs> but there's not bourbon in that. Okay, this one is called Dolomite. They have really cool names, like Low Country. It's like Louisiana. I don't know what Dolomite comes from. I'd have to look it up. But it's um, Oz Almond Jasmine Green Tea. And I really know I like Jasmine Tea when I go to the Chinese restaurant. It's really good. Um, so I'm sure I'll like this. I like almonds. But it says, tastes like raw honey, jasmine, sweet almond, cut grass, and honeysuckle. Feels like Fantasia on a theme. <laughs> I like whoever does their marketing is a genius. But um, it says ingredients, jasmine green tea, regular green tea, rose petals, and natural flavoring. But anyway, it says the hypnotic scent of this tea evokes the precious stone dolomite. Its sparkling dark honey aroma is embedded in gleaming white flowers. As you drink, the initial sweet aroma quickly gives way to bright notes of honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine. The floral bouquet interweaves with notes of almond and freshly cut grass. It bends and shines like a flirtatious trellis. <laughs> it's like putting a bow on a a pig these guys but I mean it's not oh it's I'm sure it's gonna be really good I mean if, if it if it lives up to this then it'll be worth it but you know you never know till you try yeah this one has a big old thing on the back too but I won't bore you guys with reading the backs of everyone but they just have a flair for the words and uh, I think it gives them a little business you know people like oh and then they put this card in there and it tells you how to brew a good cup of tea you know we're coffee drinkers over here mostly so I'm guessing a lot of people would need that okay so this one is uh, uh, Capri and it's honeydew melon fruit tea with mint and oh these ones are all well what these might be the sample bags hold on this is 50 grams 50 grams oh yeah these are all 15 cup packages all of these okay and then this one is a tin let me put the box down i ordered uh, this one because i wanted the tin <laughs> You can buy the tin separately for ten dollars, but it's cheaper to buy it with the tea in it. But this one is dirty chai. This one actually has coffee beans in it. Um, a spicy black tea with coffee. So I don't know uh, how that's going to taste, but my son wanted to try it, and it t has a sticker on it that tells you how to make it. But anyway, after you use it, you have the tin. And you can, um, uh, it's really pretty. I don't think you, because of the lighting, you can't hardly see. But you have the tin to put your other teas in. And you can just collect. And look, it has a pop top on the top of it. So you can get your tea out. But you can collect a few tins and then you'll have enough tins for all your tea. That would look really cute sitting on your counter too. I mean, minus the sticker you know, three or four of those, like canisters. You know, did anybody ever have a mom who had those Tupperware canisters that sat on the, and they were slight, each one was slightly smaller than the other? <laughs> that brings back memories. But anyway, those would look really cute sitting in your kitchen, especially if you had 
like a black and white themed kitchen, but it, it would go good with red or whatever color, because, you know, black goes with everything. But, um, yeah, this one makes 28 cups. So you get the 10 and, um, and I don't believe it wasn't much more. I think it was like, um, around 20, under 20. But get on their website, you'll see the prices, and they have sales, and they have like a welcome uh, percentage off. I think it might be 15%, don't quote me on that, but um, so your first time you can get some off because it's your first time. And then they have sales, sometimes they have 20% sales. Um, I haven't bought from them in a while, but I was allowed to this time, so yay. So I've got um, Dirty Chai. Low Country Bourbon Sugar Black Tea. The bomb, by the way. Dolomite Almond Jasmine Green Tea. I can't read backwards, sorry. Capri Honeydew Melon Fruit Tea with Mint. So, yeah, it was pretty nice. And I can't wait to have my first cup after I get off here with you guys. So, um, there's nothing new to report right now. I did finish that cow if you look at the... Uh, the other videos I posted, you can see it. Oh, and I ordered the butterfly pen to go with it. It is a, um, a green, uh, enamel, a butterfly and it's vintage. I got it off of Etsy and oh my goodness, I can't wait to unbox that and show you guys. It's going to go really well with the thing. And then the added bonus is if she doesn't want to wear the call cowl, she can take it off and put it on, um, you know, some other sweater. So it's like two presents in one present. <laughs> so once I get that, I'll uh, have one of my derby horses model it for you. <laughs> I get, I collect these. They're Squishmallows. Everybody knows what a Squishmallow is, but um, they're the derby horse collection and they come out around derby. See, we live in southern Indiana, which is just right across the river. It's like 20 minutes from Louisville where they have the Kentucky Derby. So we're real big on the Derby around here. And in all the Kroger stores, it's a grocery store if you don't know what Kroger is, um, they sell these Squishmallow Derby horses. This one is Louie. And they have, I have Rose and I have, um, oh gosh. I have the other brown one, but I can't think of what his name is. But anyway, this one's Louie. Say hi, Louie. <laughs> um, but I just, I just really like, you know, derby time. I don't bet, but I pick a horse and see if he comes in. Sometimes he does. My dad always asks me, who'd you? <laughs> but the thing is, is uh, if I were to go down there and put money on it, I wouldn't win. <laughs> So anyway, um, so yeah, but they make their, you know, they're pretty good width or circumference around. So it makes really good for like a model for my cowls. If they had a bigger head, I'd put the beanies on them and model them that way. Eventually I'll get all the equipment guys. I'm brand new. So right now we'll just have to deal with Louie, but it's not a sacrifice because he's so soft and squishy. <laughs> Okay, I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you guys. If you stayed this long, please um, subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends. Uh, go visit August Uncommon um, Tea Company and uh, try out some of their teas if you're into teas. Um, they have all kinds of flavors. I mean, it's unimaginable and it's fresh and it tastes so good. So check them out if you want some specialty teas. Um, and I think that's it. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.